Hello, again we're going to graph a, a linear inequality in two variables, which means I have to draw the x and y axes. And then I write the linear inequality in two variables. 3x plus 4y is greater than 12. We're going to have to use a dashed line this time because greater than is a strict inequality. So first I graph 3x plus 4y equals 12 because that will give me the line. I find two points on the line. Use any method you want, but with a standard form equation of a line, usually just getting the intercepts is easier. Not always, but sometimes, most of the time. So our intercepts are 0, 3, and 4, 0. I graph them, label them. It's always a good idea to label them. Usually teachers require you to label them. Then I draw a line through them. However, that line is going to be dashed. All right. Now I choose a test point. My favorite test point is the very center point, the origin 0, 0. Since the line is not going through 0, 0, I can use it. See, I can use any point that's not on the line. But 0, 0 is my favorite. You don't have to use it. Now I go back to the inequality. 3x plus 4y is greater than 12. And I put 0 in for the x and 0 in for the y. That's why 0, 0 is so easy to use or a slightly lazy math people. Anyway, 3 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. We have a statement that says 0 is greater than 12, and you know and I know that's not true. So because I have a false, I shade on the other side of our line. There, the graph is finished. All points on the shaded side of the line will give me a true. All points on the unshaded side of the line will give me a false. I always shade the true side. And remember the line, in this case a dashed line is called a boundary. And the fact that it's dashed means that the points on the line are not included with the true points.